This video is going to demonstrate how to use Fishbowl's manufacturing and a custom report to represent an outsourced manufacturing workflow where you drop ship inventory to them or ship inventory to your fabricator, your manufacturer. They do their work, their hard coding, their passivating, their assembly, whatever they're doing for you. They finish that and then ship it back to you, or maybe they drop ship it to your customer. I don't know that too many fabricators actually do fulfillment services also. They often just ship it back to you. You've got to fulfill it yourself. But um, yeah, so this video is going to is gonna demonstrate that. Now, in order to, you'll see in this video that there's two other videos that led to this video. The video to show you how to create a bill of material for outsource manufacturing and another video that showed you how to um, prepare your chart of accounts your unit of measure your service type items your location groups and, and your company address everything um, to prepare for this video so this video will work this video will show you what you just do on a day-to-day -day basis the other two videos show you all you all that goes into getting it set up right so the demonstration in this video will work. All right, so we're going to go to our manufacturer order screen. Go to manufacturer order and the top left hand, hand corner, click new. And we're just going to add, um, I don't know, 50 of one thing, 20 of another. So if I can remember right, this is the outsourced bill of material we previously created. I'm going to type in 20 here, and this is the other outsourced bill of material that we previously created. Now, before we get too far, we want to make sure that the location group is going to be the location where this work takes place. Um, so I just changed this location group to Joe's Fabricator. That means the inventory needs to be in Joe's Fabricator in order for this to work. That means the work is going to take place at Joe's fabricator all right notice we're on the manufacturer order screen i think something that most people do that use fishbowl before they come to me and asking for help is they tried this on the purchase order screen and they tried to create finished good parts on the purchase order screen or tried to make the service type part the finished good part and it's just it's a confusing mess Watch the magic that's about to happen that I'm going to show you on this manufacturer order screen. If I first click um, issue over here, that uh, turns these into work orders, right? And remember, you've got to do the preliminary setup on the other two videos before this works. I'm going to click on reports and go to a custom report that we give out to all of our customers and clients that is an outsourced MO report. It's kind of a magical report. Watch this. There's two work orders down here, right? This one's making the ANAD and the ANBA. Under the work order details, you see everything that is being consumed to go into these work order details. Or everything's going to be consumed to go into the finished good. Now watch what happens when I click on this outsourced MO. This outsourced MO, let's uh, scroll down a little bit. It's got M41. That's the number for this manufacturer order. So it's a manufactured order. We can actually change uh, the title of this if we want to just manufacture order instead of manufacture order traveler. I just noticed that I didn't really like the word traveler because I want you to send this or think about sending this to your fabricator, to your third party manufacturer. Notice the price, total price, total price. It's like magic. So instead of sending them a purchase order, you send them this document. Now you understand why on the previous video I said, well, you could enter the vendors, um, and by vendor I mean fabricator, outsource manufacturer. You could enter the outsource manufacturer's bill into Fishbowl when they're done if you want, or you can just enter it into QuickBooks, right? Because now with this process that I'm showing you, you don't necessarily need a purchase order. Right? You don't necessarily need to send the vendor a purchase order. You can send your vendor this manufacturer order. 
just has to be this custom manufacturer order that shows the pricing. So if you get it all set up the way I described in the previous videos, boom, it's like magic. It'll work like this. It shows them, hey, we want you to do two work orders. We want you to um, create these two, uh, these two guys, 50 of these and 20 of these. And, and because they're hard coders and passivators, they know what they need to do to show that. Now, we could get a little more granular and show um, the work order travelers as well to kind of, if you want to send this to them, you can, something a little more specific uh, if they need that. And also, if you need this tweaked, you can come back to us and say, um, can you tweak this custom report for us? We charge for that, of course, but... Um, you know, if, if you need a customizer tweak just for you, but, but you get the idea. This, this document you can send to your vendor instead of the purchase order. So you just click email, email this document. Um, there's the attachment down there and, and you're going to email this outsource manufacturer order. And, uh, after you email it, click save and this manufacturer order is being performed in Joe's Fabricator. Now, um, we just barely created Joe's Fabricator, uh, a location group. So if we go to picking, we'll see that we don't have anything at Joe's Fabricator's uh, location group. So we may want to create a purchase order that fulfills Joe's Fabricator's um, manufacturing group. So anyways, this is how you create a manufacturer order, an outsourced manufacturer order. Um, I think I'll do one more video that shows you how to uh, fulfill this, close this out once they're once they're done, um, and and maybe uh, you know purchase for this. So now that this is at Joe's Fabricators, we can go to the purchase order screen, use the auto PO button, and uh, select Joe's Fabricators location group. And this will tell us everything we need to buy to fulfill Joe's Fabricators location group. These are all the raw materials that these um, that these manufacturer orders are calling for. So that's that's really nice. And if we go ahead and create these these purchase orders, then um, this purchase order. Notice this purchase order already has. Um, Joe's Fabricators ship to address and it's Joe's Fabricators um, location group there that's that's assigned actually that looks just a little bit different let's see if we mess something up here um, go to company and the Joe's Fabricator address for Joe's Fabricator it's assigned to Joe's Fabricator the ship to address should be Joe's Fabricator so yeah, I might need to reboot the server again. Um, but if we select Joe's Fabricator, there we go. We selected Joe's Fabricator and it went to that default ship to address. So it's tied in. And that's what we want. We want it all tied in nicely. And then in the next video, I will show you how to fulfill these manufacturer orders. Obviously before I can fulfill the manufacturer order, those required parts need to be there. Um, currently, Joe's Fabricator doesn't have the parts he needs to do what we've asked him to do. So in the next video, we'll ship those to him to make sure he has what he needs and uh, let him finish what he needs to do. Comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to make sure that uh, you're getting all these videos.